Welcome to the biggest show in the world, Sports Betters TV. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Happy weekend, man. This is Rob the Mad Hatter from the biggest show in the world, Sports Betters TV. I am sitting here licking my wounds to death. And I'm talking to my boy, the evil genius of Major League Baseball, Mr. Dr. Dan Kidd. Welcome back to the party. How you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. Um, Just nice to be back. Only had one play yesterday, which was very, very unlikely. But uh, I ended up going all in on the Houston Astros. um, And it went exactly the way I thought it would. So... Sorry to hear you had a bad day. We're going to get it back today, but um, man, those Astros kids have been making me mad money. That's your man, Keiko, huh? Crushing oh, it. Oh, dude. Love that kid. Uh, you know, I, I know the Blue Jays offense is dope, but I said to myself, all right, they're dope, so instead of five, six, seven runs, maybe they'll put up two, three, four. Uh, but I thought that the Astros bats have just been so live that they were going to do the same thing. And uh, that's what happened. Nice 8 4 win. Wrapped up, made a bunch of money, and uh, called a night. Well, good for you, man. I'm happy to hear that you cashed. Thanks. And um, you know what? I mean, to everybody that's out there, listen, my man, uh, my man over here. I mean, just please explain to everybody that the the amount of work that you've been doing with your new <laughs> job, and uh, you know why the plays haven't been a uh, hundred a day and all that stuff, Dan. Yeah, please. guys. So um, basically, I'm I'm a global head of sales for a startup company. Uh, they pay me very well to do what I do. Um, and I have no complaints, but I've been working, you know, 70, 80 hours a week. I don't want to give you guys plays that I haven't done what I feel is proper research and proper justice. I don't want to be throwing stuff out there. You know, if I catch a loss personally, it is what it is. I don't, I don't mind, but I, I just can't get down with me giving out information that hasn't been fully properly researched and homework, um, with the chance that you guys lose. So I'd rather that than anything else. Um, I love you guys, but I'm not. I'm just not going to give out plays that I'm not 100 percent on. Dan, I got a lot of respect for you for that. Great, Thanks, great, man. yeah, definitely, man. I mean, listen, guys, we can't give out crap here. You know what I'm saying? Um, we can't give out what I gave out last night, which was garbage, <laughs> garbage. Ah, oh, so I, mad, you know, dude. I've had, I've had oh. my bad days, but you know what? I I at least know that if I have a bad day, if I've done the homework, and there's nothing else that I can do. You know, it is what it is, but, um, you know, I can't be, I can't be, you know, trying to run a huge team and, you know, try, you know, they treat me extremely well, guys. Like I love the nation, but like we do this for free and I, and I love what I do, but, um, you know, Hey, I got responsibilities. Absolutely, man. Well, let's talk about the, the mess that I made last night and, uh, and, 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 and my public service announcement that I'm making to the books. All right. Number one. Is guys, you know, this is all fun and games and all that, but you know what, da- Daddy just wiped the smile off his face, and uh, you know what, the the books are the books are in big, 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 big trouble. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. All right, but uh, first, first things first, man. Uh, I want to shout out a couple people. Uh, I got, let's see, I got JC hashtag SBTV Nation. I got Smokey. I got Spot Ben. I got Jason Bryce. I got Marlin. I've got uh, Troy McKinley. What's up, man? Welcome to the party. I got Jake Cast Alejandro. Uh, big ups to Jay Cast for hitting that soccer yesterday, man. Congratulations on that. Randomly unpredictable. I've got uh, Peter Barry. I got Benjamin Rowe. I got Nicholas J. Uh, let's see. I got Sergio Rodriguez. I got Big Mike. Uh, let's see, dude. You don't have a Twitter name here. Oh, here you go. Heavy three six five. Uh, Sin City Maverick, Boston boys out there, the cheese is out there. Good morning to you as well, brother. I got Joe Zippy, I got Tip Talker, I've got the Odds Hustle, I've got uh, let's see, Must Seller Bet Sports, uh, great photo, brother. Um, and the list goes on and on, man. I got, dude, it's just it's just nuts today, dude. Already, oh, I know. Already on the week. I know. Tommy King is out there. Good morning to you, brother. All right, couple things real quick, guys. Before we do this, we got the beautiful Queen of Odds going to be calling in about a half hour uh, to break down some stuff. I guess, dude. I guess my understanding is she's her hockey has been crazy. So, yeah. and I know that there's a lot of people that can attest to that. So I'm looking forward to getting her on. I'm getting my man AZ Wildcat 83 on to break down the preakness today. We got the big horse race coming up. Dan, if you got to cut out after 11, I understand. And uh, I'll continue with uh, my man AZ Wildcat 83. Right on, brother. All right. right. So uh, let's just talk about my mess that I put put myself in last night all right so we're gonna clean it up today though. we're, we're gonna, gonna clean, clean it up, up. but uh here and, and you know what guys listen i built my bankroll like dope 
okay? And I gave up a lot of money last night. But you know what? Most of it was future money. And I went out with my wife. And you know what? I mean, I, I was able to get the game on at the bar we went to after dinner or whatever. And, you know, deep down aside, I, I don't know how you guys handle losses. But for me, watching the Memphis Grizzlies shoot 29% from the field in the first quarter made me want to pick my bar stool up and fling it across the room and just <laughs> scream. But you know what? The DJ was playing it. I'm playing this track because the DJ was playing this. And this, this track right here kind of got me just put a smile on my face. I shook it off. I say, you know what, man, I love my bride. I'm just going to have a good time. I'm going to dance. I'm going to enjoy life. And you know what? I'm going to kick the crap out of the books now, dude. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But the Memphis Grizzlies, dude, went down in flames. Um, the Atlanta Hawks won the game. They beat the Wizards. Uh, I had the Wizards. I had the Baltimore Orioles in flat plays last night. I lost. Whatever. But with the Atlanta Hawks winning, I was like, all right, be perfect. Because I got $100 that for an Atlanta Memphis Grizzlies finals matchup that paid $70,000 there. <laughs> okay? So I'm like, all right, you know what? There's my car cuz I, I drive a piece of crap truck, dude. I need a car. I need a really really nice car. announcement right now towards the books and it involves major league baseball okay well first of all my bankroll i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you guys dude listen my bankroll's down to about seven thousand dollars after last night okay i i was up big i had a couple payouts or whatever and uh you know my bankroll is about seven thousand i gotta look at it I, I keep it on a spreadsheet or whatever but my goal at the end of Major League Baseball season, and and you know what, guys, you want to you want to tail fade, do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm not a it's, dude. I, whether that's all that's what I consider myself not a handicapper. No, but anyway, it's documented. And, oh, it is documented. I mean, my live lines aren't documented, but my uh, straight plays are. Oh. I am going to make in baseball one hundred thousand dollars, dude. I'm going to build it up to a hundred thousand dollars, and I'm going to use with futures, Dan. Open parlays, live lines, and hedging. Okay? I'm going to build this up to $100,000, kid. Mark my words. I don't know. I, I want to start it today, but I haven't looked at it. No, I'm, de I'm dead serious, dude. I believe you, man. I'm dead serious. You know what? And I I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the future I'm starting with. I am starting with the Washington Nasties to win the World Series. There you go. All right, so I don't know how much I'm putting on that yet, guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put that into to probably at what seven to one right now, Dan, something like that. I gotta I gotta check what it's at, but yeah, it's definitely more favorable than it's been. All right, so I'm going to put. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in open parlays to make it pay crazy. Okay. Plus seven hundred. All right, plus seven hundred. So if you you know, so I could probably you know, if I put let's see, if I put that in like a three team parlay or whatever, probably end up paying you know twenty to one or whatever. So I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff, man. Hundred thousand dollars. That's my goal, brother. Major League Baseball guys, get on board with your boy, because you know what, I ain't having it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it happen, but. I still have, uh, and, and, and Dan, I'm sorry I'm talking so much, man. I'm just on a rant today, dude. Oh, no, man. It's all good. <laughs> I sound like you were breaking down the MLBs. <laughs> um, but but anyway, I mean, I still have Atlanta Hawks alive. I've got the Clippers. i got the Rockets. Um, Golden State doesn't really pay me much money, and they're a pain in my ass. But, yeah, that's my goal, dude. I'm going to make $100,000 in baseball this year. You know, you know what I'm thinking of throwing out on? Go is for the it. Tampa Bay Rays right now. You know something, Dan? Plus 7,000? You know something, Dan? I don't disagree with you there. I'm going to throw down on that. I'm going to throw down on the Reds. And I'm going to throw down on the Diamondbacks. All right. All right. Um, You know what? I do not disagree with you on that. I, I like them. And I, I also like this, this San Diego Padres team. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You know Definitely. what I'm saying? I mean, I I've liked the Padres since before the season started, and at plus two thousand. Like the thing is, right now, if if you haven't taken any futures, we can get into this real quick. I'm with you on the Nationals, right? At plus seven hundred, now is a good time to jump in because if they get really hot, that number is going to drop like crazy. Um, the Dodgers at plus six hundred isn't bad either, but no. the Padres, I still think the Padres are going to edge them. I think they're going to find their groove, and I also think if they need to, they'll make a trade. But, um. You know, there, there's some really great stuff out there right now. But right now, the Astros at plus 1,800, the Padres at plus 2,000, and then obviously your long shots, uh, the Rays, Reds, and Diamondbacks. But, you know, the Diamondbacks, if Archie Bradley comes back from this injury and he's as dominant as he's been, they have a bona fide ace. You know, they, they have, they're like a team that just can generate power. They haven't been terrible. I mean, you know. And yeah, we're gonna fight, you know, we're gonna look they get at another this. pitcher. We're gonna look at this, dude. Um, you know, I was looking at them, and um, I'm also and Weaver, Scott Weaver. I do agree with you on the St. Lucia Cardinals. I am also all oh, over yeah. them as well, all over them. So uh, looking forward to that, and uh, we're gonna go from there, guys. So I'm gonna methodically do this, and I'm gonna share every move I make with the nation. So, guys, be ready for it. That's all I got to say about that because we are going to rock and roll from there. So, we'll go from there, Dan. So, uh, what do you want to get into first? Let's uh, go right into the diamond. What do you think? Let's do it, man. All right, man. So, um, let me just pull it up and uh, go from there. Just give me a second while I do this. And let me pull up the diamond today, guys, because we got a lot to talk about here. I want to see what I'm going to do. So I got all the pictures and all everything. All right, fantastic. First game I got on the ticket, I got the Atlanta Braves at the Miami Marlins. And um, let's see, Miami minus 130 with an under over of seven and a half. Kid, what you got there? Uh, we got Wood for the Braves, one and two with a 428. And Latos for the Marlins, one and three with a 472. Um, flip a coin. Couldn't stay farther away from this game. Nasty game, right? Gross. I've been telling everybody that this matchup is nasty. I see more and I, more tickets coming in on these on this matchup. I'm like, guys, just fall back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't like. I that mean, you at got all. you got Atlanta's two and five straight up in the last seven, and you got uh, Miami one and four straight up in the last five, dude. I know. I know. It's it's not. Um... It just, yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for me either, brother. So I'm going to fall back from that one yeah. and keep There's it. much better stuff. There's definitely. We already got, damn, we already got 42 retweets of the show, dude. Awesome. Got Christos. Appreciate I got Nick Lazo. I got Jonesy out there. I got Irvin Turtle in the house. Like I said, the beautiful Queen of Odds is going to be calling in. G Rose, what's up, buddy? That's my uh, weekend warrior there. Uh, Buster Car Danger, Marlin. Yeah, I know, dude. Don't let the loss get you down. You will bounce back, dude. You know what? Thank you, man. I, I had, dude, Dan, I had so many kind words last night from all these people. I mean, dude, guys, we built the bankroll up, man. I mean, we could yeah. we could sustain losses like that. You know what I'm saying? But Gotta it just, be able to. Yeah, man. Just uh, You know what it was? It was it was between going 0-2 and having the futures go up in flames was 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 <laughs> and trying to be out to dinner with my bride and keep my composure all at the same time oh i know man yes eddie oh, it's, E's it's out a there very difficult thing yes eddie E's out there uh marmar's out there and uh you know what you guys may think i'm smoking crack or whatever you know saying i'm gonna ba- bang 100 grand but you know what i don't i'm not that's all i'm gonna say about that I didn't have anything to smoke this morning. I haven't drank anything since last night. I'm dead serious. Uh, I got Joe Melky out there as well. Going to the next one, Dan. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Tampa Biscuit at the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Tampa Biscuit um, is pretty much even money all across the board with an under over of eight and a half. What you got there, brother? Yeah, so we got uh, Colome going for the Biscuits, two and one with a five, six, three. And we got Trevor May going for the Twinkies, two and three with a five four. Um, I mean, I, I don't really. Colin May got blasted his last time out. He gave eight runs on eleven hits. Ouch! Four homers. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but Trevor May has been pretty pretty terrible too. Um, 
I'm I'm just gonna stay stay way 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 far away from this. I'm leaning the over. I really lean the over on this game if you got to do anything with it. But you know, uh, I just yeah, no good. No good, huh? Oh, good. These pitchers are just so. I mean, it's just unpredictable starting pitchers. Like you know, there are some pitchers that are really good. There are some pitchers that are really bad. But, you know, it's like you can get a lean on when you have, like, a, a pitcher, like a Mike Pelfrey or something, right? You know, every now and again I'll get blasted, but for the most part I'll go out there and give up two or three runs, maybe a four spot. These guys, you just don't know. Like, Duke could come out in the first inning and give up ten runs. Yeah, I mean, right. he's that bad. So, <laughs> you know, I, it's very, very hard to get a, a line on what's going to happen there. But the, the over looks good to me. The over looks good to you, huh? I like the over. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, for me, you know, taking a look at these two matchups, Dan, uh, I mean, dude, take it Tampa Bay and Minnesota or Atlanta and Miami. No good. No <laughs> good. No good for me. No good for me at all. Oh, no I see. for anybody. Oh man, I got the, the I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the ground later, but um, next one we got on the ticket we got the Detroit Tigers at the St. Lucia Cardinals. Uh, St. Louis got smacked around last night, kid. Yeah, I was watching yeah, that they, game, man. It was uh, it was six four, and all of a sudden the Tigers put up a four spot right out the. I was like, whoa, what happened that, there? <laughs> that's what the Tigers can do, man. They can on anybody at any time. Yes, uh, but you know the thing is, that St. Louis can kind of do that too. Um, could be a preview of things to come in the future. I concur. I don't know. I still don't think Detroit uh, – there's just something about that team. I don't think they're built for a long-haul run against other good teams like Kansas City. Uh, I just don't know if they have enough depth, obviously, but they have the resources to make a trade. But for today, we got Price 3-1 and with a 3-3 ERA going up against Lions, winless with a 4-8-2. Um, I, I really lean Detroit here. But I'm really no fan of David Price, especially lately. I know. I know. Um, you know, he's good, but against good lineups, he does still have, he still can get smacked around. But Lions has also been very mediocre. And against a team that can bludgeon you like Detroit can against anybody, you know, I, I hate to say this, I, I don't think I can touch this game either. Dan, I'm very proud of you, man. You're like a controlled – the new job got you controlled, man. Well, it's not even controlled. It's like <laughs> lately, you know, I just I just haven't seen a lot of value on the boards lately either, guys. Uh, and, you know, I got to play the value. Like early in the season, you know, that first month, what you were seeing is like the books had no idea what the hell was going on. Like they were just like, all right, we're going to throw random numbers out there. I feel like, you know, no idea. And you were able to kill them. Now – a lot of this is due to like the juice of some of these games is on point. I mean, you know, we'll get to it, but I, I am very, very confident. I'm making my largest play on a three team parlay today. And we'll get to that later. But just so you know, I got, I, I've been looking at something since last night and I got another game up my sleeve, but these games are just, you know, they're very, very hard to call. You know, you, you want to lean Detroit in this game because they have price on the mound. But, you know, Lions isn't that good, but St. Louis is at home, and they can hit off anybody. You know, Price is a fastball pitcher, and, you know, St. Louis, they got a bunch of veterans that can hit that. Um, and, again, Price hasn't been that great. He hasn't been dominant, so I got to stay away. All right, man. Uh, big ups to, uh, let's see, Scott Weaver's telling me that Price is 1-0 and with 20 strikeouts, and teams are only batting 1.67 against him in, in – uh, in three day games. Huh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. All right. I got Clayton uh, Dodd on there. Let's see who else. I got Sermata. Good morning, Sermata. How you doing, man? How's the tennis girls treating you? Uh, I got, uh, let's see. I love watching them, by the way. Uh, I got West Coast Handicapper. What's up, buddy? I got uh, Wayne. Uh, dude, I don't even know how to pronounce your last name, brother. Wayne C. That's what I'm going to call you. AZ Sox fan uh, at, on Twitter. Uh, let's see who else I got here. I've got um, Payout. I got Bob Fetters. What's up, guys? Good morning. All right, Dan. So I can't find any baseball yet. And part of, guys, part of building your bankroll to $100,000 is not forcing any place. Oh, we are about to find <laughs> some, though, in we're about to find some, I think, in a couple games. All right, all right. So I'm going to skip over um, the Pittsburgh Cubs matchup because I'm going to let the Queen of Odds talk with us about that, Dan. 
Okay. If you don't mind. That's good because I'm I'm split on that game as well. All right. Uh, next game we've got on the ticket is the L.A. Angels coming into the Baltimore Orioles. Um, and Baltimore slightly favored minus 115 with an under over of nine. The O's got me last. Kid, I couldn't get no runs out of the O's. What the hell's uh, wrong with them? I, you know, I... Just that time of the year. Yeah, man. I mean, that time of the year. The Angels, you know, the Angels are kind of turning their season around, bro. Five and one straight up in the last in the last six games. Yeah, no. I mean, it's um, the Angels. This is what they do, you know. Yeah, they they eventually find a way to win. They have enough veteran players. I think you know, getting over the whole you know bull you know bull with uh, Hamilton. you know, getting some guys back healthy. Their pitching has been a little better than expected. You know, and um, they know they these are guys that have always won on that team. So they're used to it. And they do have, you know, probably the best, you know, player in baseball, Mike Trout. So, yeah, that helps. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So you got any kind of sides here or what, what are you thinking? Here? You know, I, I honestly, I do actually lean the O's, but they've just disappointed me so much lately that it's hard to put a bet on them. I, I agree. Got, I, I'm looking at this, Dan. I so want to take the Orioles, bro. I mean, we I, got Schumacher 2-3 and three with a 6-6-1 against Jimenez 3-2 and two with a 2-4-1. And he's been really good lately, too. Um, like, I, I feel like Baltimore at home should murder him. But, man, it's just, is this going to be the game when they choose to put up runs, or is this going to be the game where you're like, how did a pitcher with a six-and-a-half plus ERA shut us down? I know, it's man. It's so hard to put a play I, on the I know, area. I know. I'm looking at it. I mean, Baltimore's three and seven straight up in the last ten, but at home, they're seven and three in the last ten. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, you know, do the Angels beat them again? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, I, I don't you know, know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Schumacher's bad, dude. I know he is. I like, know. Can they not? Can they really not hit him? I mean, I don't know. I went against Nolasco the other night, and I got I got, I lost. Nolasco yeah. has been like, what, what do you have? Like, <laughs> fifteen losses in a row before that. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, I mean, ridiculous. That's why. That's why you can't. But. You know, the other thing is, and, you know, I don't know how much I buy into this, but if you look at their last stretch of uh, six games, they haven't lost consecutive games, right? It's been win-loss, win-loss, win-loss. And not only that, but it seems like when you they're putting up runs in those wins, like they put up a six spot, a five spot, um, another six spot. So I got to figure today maybe they're going to, Maybe they're gonna win and put up five or six runs. I, 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 I I'm, I'm gonna put this on standby, but I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to take the O's again, man. I really am. I, I think they get the job done here. Big ups to uh, Sir Mata for hitting a uh, two forty five money line, man. Before coffee was brewed up, he's saying congratulations on that play, boy. Uh- and I uh, got Rick Lopez on there. Dude, you must be foaming at the mouth today over the horse race, kid. Speak, yeah, so uh, like I said, guys, we got the uh, the Queen of Odds is going to be calling in in uh, about seven minutes. And we got AZ Wildcat 83 that is going to be calling in probably around the 11 o'clock hour. I got to send him a DM here. But, uh, Dan, I, lo- I love when you come on, dude, because you, you go crazy talking about the MLBs. It gives me a chance to kind of just, you know, Get the music <laughs> right, you know, do coordinate, you do, coordinate with the guests, you know, the whole thing. When, when Dream and I, like I said, with the Dream and I go with baseball, he tells me, like, a couple of trends. It takes us, like, 30 seconds, and I'm like, oh, okay, back to me again? <laughs> I'm like, damn. <laughs> no uh, doubt. All right, guys. So, uh, the next game we got on a ticket. I'm, dude, I'm so tempted to take the O's, man. Ah. I know. How about, how's my boy Harang doing? Dude, I've, I've been making money off Harang. Uh, sick, right? He's been plus yeah. money every time, man. Oh, I know. It's crazy. Speaking of Harang, so that, and that's why I brought him up. We got the uh, Arizona uh, D-backs coming into the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, Arizona minus 120 with an under over of eight. What you got there, Dan? Yeah, so we got Jerome Williams, two and three with a five, two, one. Going up against the triumphant return of Archie Bradley. 
2-0 and with a 1-8. Everybody will remember a few weeks ago, he got hit in the face with a line drive. Ouch. Yep. That uh, blew up his sinus cavity. But, oh, my God. Uh, he's a man, and I expect him to come back and pitch like one. I'm all over the Diamondbacks today. Dan, I'm with you on this. I am so with you with the Arizona Diamondbacks, dude. I know everybody's going to say, fade it, fade it. He's coming off an injury. If you, like... Like, what I know, like, this kid's makeup, man, he's going to come back and he's going to want to dominate. And if, and a Philadelphia team doesn't win two games in a row, um, not only that, but, yeah, they put up a four spot yesterday. Jerome Williams is freaking terrible. I mean, he's garbage. Uh, Diamondbacks are going to smash him around today. And, you know, I think I, I, I could see him putting up a seven or an eight spot in this game. Philadelphia's offense is, is garbage. I mean, they're they're really what? They're the worst or second worst offense in the league. Um, and I, I just think they get dominated. Even if Bradley doesn't have his 100% good stuff, I'm, I'm more than fine with, with that. That's my that's my single play, like, lock. All right, I got you, man. Uh, big ups to uh, Jim Rhodes and Zadouche and uh, Swick Hat Sides. That's my boy, Swick Hat Sides, kid. We... Uh, Killed it with him in Las Vegas, dude. Had a great time with him, man. Oh, yeah. Great, 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 great people right there. Uh, let's see. Got my boy Tommy King. He's over at the uh, Venetian right now um, in, in Las Vegas. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Uh, he's, looking at, uh, he's looking at Cincinnati today. Um, yeah, hopefully their stadium doesn't light on fire again. Yeah, right. <laughs> you saw that last night? I did. I saw it. What, what was it? The uh, It was up in the uh, where the lights were. Where, yeah, they have that. It's like the lights, but it, it's like the outline of a boat, or I think, or something up there. Um, yeah, it's like a boat, like um, you know, an old school boat. They set the fire department up to spray that, spray that thing down. Crazy. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, man. So, um, Dan, I am. I like the um, I like the D backs too. Yeah. And guys, I love them. And, and guys, listen. Uh, you know what? And, and for you to make your bankroll come up to what the number I'm talking about of a hundred grand. Listen, you don't force any plays. You don't go absolutely nuts on plays. You know what I'm saying? You got to build it up. So I mean, dude, we got 162 games to do it plus MLB playoffs. Right. So that's all I got to say about that. But you no, know, we I crushed MLB playoffs. We, we destroyed year. it last year, dude. I, I, had I think Kansas... we had every series except the world series. And you know, Hey, I, I know. I had um I had Kansas City and the Giants in futures, dude. And yeah, uh, me at, too. The, at the and I had the Baltimore Orioles. I had three out of four, so I ended up hedging betting uh St. Lucia too. So yeah, uh, did really I mean, good I had last eight year. Eight out of the ten playoff teams in futures I took in March going into the playoffs. So I just sat back and made money. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, let me uh let me switch this up and we'll move uh to the next game. Dan, we are uh <laughs> Definitely taking our time today on these. Next one we got on the ticket. Oh, dude, I this this game just pains me to read off at this point. I can't believe what your amazing Mets have been doing, man. The Milwaukee Brewers coming into the New York Mets, and and, and what's worse is the Grom is on the mound. Ah. Oh. Mets minus one forty three with an under over of seven, dude. The Grom's been killing me, bro. Yeah, but it's been. Not as bad as it's looked, really. I mean, if you think about it, if you look at his last uh, three games, right, or even four, right, he gave up that six spot at the Yankees, which, okay, the Yankees have been killing everybody. But his next game out, he only gave up three earned, and it's not like he's walking, people are doing that, and his defense has been terrible behind him. The next game out, he only gave up one earned in seven innings, and at the Cubs, he, you know, he gave up that three-run bomb, which, hey, man, sometimes that just happens. That just happens. There's no way the Mets lose this game today. I agree, not, I agree with not, you, Dan. I'm not putting money on this, okay? I, I'm prefacing that. I, I'm not because, look, I, I I don't know if I'm talking from the heart or the brain. Like, I've looked at this game. Uh, Garza is on the mound for the Brew Crew, 2-4 and four with a 4 4 DeGrom, 3-4 and four with a 3-4-6. Something has got to give. Something has got to give with this offense. I mean, I I just, I, I can't see the Mets going down today. I, I just can't see it. Maybe I'm blinded. That's why I'm not putting money on it. But 
You know what? That's what I got to say about that. I agree with you, dude. <clears throat> I think DeGrom goes out and actually has a great game today. You're not, there's no cheap home run in City Field, okay? That's part of it, right? If you look at, if you look at some of these games on the road, Yankee Stadium, a band box. Chicago, a band box, right? You come back to City Field, you give up a, a 350 foot, it's a pop fly. You know, it's a pop fly in that ballpark. Yeah, right. Right, exactly, exactly. So would you say that the overs are uh, are, are what, what the totals would be better over there? What do you what do you think? What are your thoughts there? I mean, but here's the thing. I mean, seven runs uh, because the bullpens can be gotten to, and I don't. I don't. And I think the Mets can get to Garza. I really do. I think the offense is going to find a way to to put together some runs. I'm not gonna. T- I'm not gonna touch it. If you could find it or buy it up to eight, I would go under. Okay. You think if DeGrom- you could buy it up to eight, I'd go under. I I, I so don't want this Degrom guy to punch me in the face again, dude. I know. <laughs> I really don't. I know, but as you know, at the same time, I I really, I really just can't. I I can't see him getting get around here. What's the weather? What, <clears throat> what's the weather like out there? Um, I mean, it's supposed to clear <clears throat> up. I mean, we've had these quick hitting storms. You know, I'm only like forty or not even. I'm like thirty five miles from City Field um, down here. It, it, I think it's going to be fine. All right, good, good, good. I, dude, I mean, I'm, the I'm drainage leaning... is so good on these fields now. You know that it, it, it could be a monsoon. I'm leaning Mets myself, bro. I'm leaning Mets and I'm leaning Arizona. I gotta. I got to look at this, man. I got to look at it a little further. Guys, I'll put out every single play I do on Twitter with the hashtag Hatter. And That's- here's the here's the other thing, guys. So I'm looking at the weather right now. And it's they'll get the game in. They're saying maybe like isolated thunderstorms, but only like a 30% chance of rain. But here's the thing. It's going to be pretty humid, and it's going to be a little windy. They're talking about at least sustained wind of 10 miles per hour. If that's blowing out, if that's blowing out, you got to watch out where the wind is blowing. And, you know, look if you're looking at that, if it's blowing out, stay away from the under. Okay. You know, because sometimes, look, I, I've spent my life growing up in the stadium. And while City Field, you do, not, you do not hit cheap home runs there. But there is that jet stream over the stadium that blows out into the bay. And if you, you know, if you get a windy night and you hit a ball there and it's blowing out, it's going to carry. You know, and it, it will go a long way. And both teams have guys that can hit home runs. So you don't want to get into a situation where, you know, it, it turns into home run derby because of the jet stream. You're right. Do I have the queen on? This is the queen. What's oh, going on? what's up, baby girl? How you doing out there? Good, good, good. Can you guys hear me okay? We can oh, hear you. Yeah. Fantastic. Up, How you doing, sweetie? It's been a long time since we talked. I know, I know. I miss you guys. How's everybody doing? Are we making money? You know what? I was making money until last night. Last night was a pretty rough <laughs> night for me, Queen. I, I, you know what? I've been on a like a crazy streak. I want in like the last sixty days, it's been nuts. Um, but last night I went zero and two, and I lost some future bets. So I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm determined. That I'm on a mission now. <laughs> no, now you make it. It's just a mission to make a comeback. <laughs> yes, yeah. definitely. Well, I, I took mean, every dime I had and put it on on Keiko and the Astros last night. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I had Houston too. So, oh, <laughs> fantastic! So, guys, we have the beautiful Queen of Odds on. Queen, I, it's my understanding that um, you've been ripping up the hockey, huh? Yeah, uh, playoffs are my thing, really, in in pretty much any sport. Um, but but playoff hockey for me is just like I love it, and uh, the lines make sense to me. And I, I've picked some great <laughs> underdogs to pull through, uh, give my guys some value. So yeah, I'm like nine and two in the playoffs right Not, now. Nine and oh, I gotta awesome. start, I gotta start tailing your stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So big game tonight. Oh, game tonight. I, I know, I know. We'll get back to it. Uh, we're going. We're right now. We're we're killing the MLBs. Um, you know, we're looking at this. Uh, we've already, you know, Dan and I have already discussed. Um, and I'm not going to hold you to anything or ask you to pick any games. You know, I mean, if you want to give us one play on the show, that's all good. Um, okay. 
But uh, let's see. I'm, you know, we're looking at Arizona. We like Arizona, and uh, Dan is not betting it, but he likes the Mets, and I, I concur with that as well. Um, absolutely. After what happened uh, last night, yeah, you got to play the Mets. All right. All right. <laughs> I mean, listen, this is not this is not my free pick, but you know, the thing with the Grom is he's such a quality pitcher, but. He has kind of snuck up on us a couple times and bit us. So, yes. But when he's, yeah. I, with, I mean, when he's playing with the Brewers at home, I just, I don't see this being a loss for him. That's exactly what I said. You know, I said I'm not, I'm not betting it because I don't want to believe my heart is clouding what my brain's saying. But if you look at the losses where he's given up the runs. At Yankee Stadium and at Chicago, they're band boxes, you know, and those are not home runs in City Field. No, absolutely not. And again, the Grom at home is a whole different story than the Grom on the road. So, and you got the Brewers, which always, you know, they're starting to connect. Their bats are starting to connect. So it's a little surprising. They had a rough start in the in the beginning of the season, but um, if, if the Mets offense can really pull it together, it's going to be hands down Mets easy win all right yeah that's a big if though you know that's the one thing that scares me is that offense it just hasn't been good no 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 they um in the past uh week week and a half they, their offense has really kind of fallen apart um yeah. but, injuries have just caught up with them yep yep and and that's and that's a problem that's a problem so you can't just hold the pitcher to win the game you know you can't just be looking at him but i do believe that degrom is going to hold down the Brewers offense today at home. Yeah. So. Yeah, I hear you. And here's the other thing, too, is um, it's expected that Ligaris will be back in the lineup today as well. So I think, he, you know, he was back yesterday. I think he's going to go back to back. So I'm hoping that he starts getting into a groove again. I mean, you know, he had that little, like, side strain, but it never really affected his bat. Um, right. you got to hope that, that he does something. I mean, and Kadir has been terrible lately. You know, I just can't expect it to continue. And, you know, when you lose a guy like David Wright, who, even though he wasn't hitting for power, he had, like, you know, a bunch of doubles, was hitting over 300. He's been sorely missed from the lineup. They need a true, you know, a true number four power hitter, which Duda just hasn't been so far. So, you know, that's that's the thing. And, you know, if Tulo really is on the market, the Mets need to go out there and get him. Yep. Absolutely. 100%. Absolutely. They definitely need a strong bat over there. That's for sure. But uh, let's get back to a game, Queen, because I know that you wanted to talk about this game. Um, let me just take a look here. I, oh, I yeah. love my I love my father's calling me right now when he knows I'm on the air. <laughs> All right. I, I See, love it, I love him to death. The, uh, uh, we're going to talk about the Pittsburgh yeah. Pirates coming into the Chicago Cubs. And uh, Chicago is slightly favored, minus 115. I do not have a total yet because of the wind changes in Wrigley Field. But... Queen, ladies first. Yeah. La- ladies first. Oh yeah, I just want yeah. to see a pull on the mound for the Pirates. Five and one with a two three two. Lester on for the Cubs. Three and two with a four point one. Go ahead, Queen. Well, coming from the hardest working lady in the business, so I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and say um, I've really picked apart this game. Uh, I-, I find this game to be, you know, quite quite the matchup. Um, but you got to play Cole. Um, if I'm going to give a free play out, this is the play I'm going to give. And it's going to be, I'm going to roll with the Pirates. And I'll tell you why. I, th- I, I really believe that Cole is such a strong pitcher for the Pirates. But not only is he strong, he's strong away. And he actually has a better record away than Lester does at home. So um, I think you really got to roll with that. I know the Pirates can hit. It'll probably be a close game. But at the end of the day, I definitely see the Pirates pulling a win. Now, I know that the Cubs at home, it's a, it's a 4 o'clock game. You know, typically when the Cubs win, they win like early day games. But um, I just don't see Lester pulling a win today at all. All right. Yeah. All right. I mean, um, I, I, I definitely agree with you. And, you know, the other thing, too, is, is the Pirates have a few guys that can run on you. And if they get right. on base, Lester, for everybody who doesn't know this, he cannot throw to a base. He refuses. Right. If you watched the last game against the Mets, there was a ground ball to him. 
he let it go and almost sacrificed an out because he cannot throw to a base. So I, I'm with you. I definitely see that. I, I just, I don't know, man. There's just something about it. And I, I, I really hear what you're saying, but if Lester's on, he's unhittable. Yeah, so if, he, if, he, if he's on, you know what I mean? Right. He's been he's been up and down this year. So, um, he has you been, know. but he had, you know, he had that mediocre outing against the Mets. He did not have his good stuff. And the Mets tagged him a little bit. Um, you know, so I, well, I don't my, know. I mean. I, I see. I see. I, I look at the overall big picture. And um, as you're saying, if Lester's on, the thing is, is Cole is always on. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, that I agree with. Yeah. That I agree so, with. So. So, uh, you know, if I'm going to put money on a game, I'm not going to uh, wish wash over whether this guy's going to show up and play at home. I'm going to go ahead and go with the guy that always shows up and plays well away. And the line is doable. It's a very, it's a value. So, um, I, I, I'm sorry. I have to roll with the Pirates with cold pitching. Um, I think he can hold down those runs. He does not let up a lot of runs. Yeah. So, no, I, I'm with you there. I'm yeah, with you there. definitely. Two point five three ERA, pretty cool. Yep, pretty cool. All right, Queen. Yep. Well, um, hey, you know what? I hope you cash. <laughs> uh, and I hope the <laughs> hope listeners. We all cash. I mean, listen. You know, I mean, you guys. You know, you guys are out there. If you're new to the show and you're new to the 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 Queen over here, I mean, listen. You know what? She's got a lot of good information, and uh, there's not many females that I know that can do what you do. So, actually, I don't think there's any of them that I know. To be honest with you, um, so oh, okay, <laughs> so it's all well and good, man. So, uh, so Queen of Odds. So, talk to me real quick. Uh, you know, Dan and I will continue to go through the baseball, but um, why don't you just give me kind of a lowdown of what you got and um, you know where people are going to find you and and what you got to offer and all that good stuff. Alrighty. Well, today I'm I'm coming back strong. Um, Again, MLB and the hockey playoffs are definitely my, my thing. Now, I do I do have my connections, and I will say this on the air live. I do not cap uh, horse betting. I don't cap that. But I do have connections that do that have sent me some very, very solid picks. Um, and for those of you who don't know how to bet horse, horse uh, don't know how to do horse betting, feel free to hit me up on Twitter and DM me, and I'll, and I'll talk you through it. But I've got a package today, and it's only for today. And it's it's very, you know, it's, it's a valuable package. It's $29. But I'm going to go ahead and make that for two days. I'm going to give you my MLB picks, my hockey playoff picks, and you're going to also be able to, to get the Preakness picks as well. Awesome. That's, nice. that's, so, not, yeah. that's nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good stuff. Good exactly. Good stuff. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And you guys can, um, I'm launching my website very, very shortly. But until that's launched, because again, I am a woman of perfection, um, I would like all of you guys to email me at picks at queenofodds.com. Feel free to email me, ask me about my packages. Um, if you want MLB, uh, if you want just hockey, whatever it is, we can tailor a package around you. But listen, I have a winning record in the MLB, and I'm kicking butt in the hockey playoffs. And um, the Preakness and the Kentucky Derby, I, I have in three years, I've never lost a race. So I'm in it to make money, and I'm in it to make you guys money. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, guys, go ahead and give uh, the Queen a follow and uh, email her at picks at queenofodds.com. And, uh, Queen, when you launch your website, we'll get you back on the show. How about that? Yeah, I'm stoked about that. Stoked. Uh, you guys uh, are going to love it. All right, fantastic. So, um, yeah, I mean, we're, Dan and I still have a lot of baseball to do. <laughs> I'm seeing that. I'm seeing that. Unbelievable. Hey, listen, there's some great games. I know, oh, I know. Yeah. We're looking at it here. We're just trying to, you know, figure out some stuff here. Um, it's up to you if you want to stay on with us for a little bit here. It's it's entirely up to you. I don't know what your schedule is, but we've got I some would love um, to stay on with all you. All right, fantastic. This, Fan- is, this is my nation. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So um going to the next one here, we got the San Francisco Giants at the Cincinnati Reds. And uh San- Cincinnati minus one fifty. With an under over of eight, Dan, who you got pitching there? Uh, anybody else getting that crazy feedback? No? Nope. Negative. All right. Um, well, anyway, we got uh, Vogelsong on the mound for the Giants. One and two with a five, six, seven. 
and Leak on the mound for the Reds, two and one with a two three six. Um, I really like the Reds here. They look good, don't they? I mean, I just you know the offense has been a little weak lately. Not even lately, just kind of all together. But Vogel song is garbage, and Leak's been really good, really good. So I, yeah, I'm I, I agree. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm taking a look at this game here. I mean, uh, you know, just looking at a couple of trends, guys, real quick. Uh, let's see. Cincinnati, I had them. Dude, I only bet them when Cueto's on the mound. <laughs> uh, I know, but, but Leak has been really yeah, good. Yeah, Leak's been good. Yeah, exactly. Um, San Fran, 4-8 and eight straight up in the last 12 games on the road. Um, and Cincinnati, 5-1 and one straight up in the last six when playing San Francisco. All right, man. So um, are you betting this game, Dan? Yes. You're taking Cincinnati? Yes. All right, Queen and Queen. What are you? Uh, are you? You're, you're just focused would, on on that one game, or what? I definitely. Well, no. I mean, I, again, I've got I got great stuff to give out to um, all my all my clients today. But I will say that Leak is strong, guys. I mean, and that that line is what is it? It's minus one fifty for that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's 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 a tough line. Um, it is a tough but, line, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair it with the Orioles. Oh, right, you're gonna play, gonna play it. Okay, All right, we'll take a look at that and uh, and keep it moving from there. If you pair it with the Orioles, it's plus two twelve. I got a better one for you, man, and we'll get into that. But I have an idea. Oh, I got, who to I pair got that a three teamer. I got the biggest three team parlay that I put on anything ever. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got I got a couple good parlays for you if you guys want to <laughs> just avoid the juice. Yeah, we'll get into that. There's some games coming. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, next one we got on the ticket. We got the New York Stanks coming into the K Sizzle Royals, dude. I'm so mad at myself. I said yesterday. How can you not take Kansas City as an underdog? And you know what, man? I didn't play it. Ah, oh, so mad at myself, dude. Every time yeah, they're a dog, they can, win, can and they killed City, them. I, I felt like it, I felt like a jackass myself. Like I really, really kicked myself. Um, and dude, I mean, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's I awesome. do not feel like a jackass because I play KC. They, they were. They were an underdog. How do you not play KC? I know. Oh. I know. I know. Ah, whatever. It is what it is. But um, it's pretty much even money all across the board with an under over of eight today. So uh, any leans, guys? I'll start with you, Queen. Any leans here? Well, my thing is I am not a fan this season of Sabathia at all. Um, and especially not away. I just – he. I mean, he is just not the same – Sabathia as he was last season and it, it's kind of hard to watch yeah. um, I know that there's probably a lean on people taking the Yankees because they feel like well you know at some point Sabathia has got to get his, his his stuff together but I don't know I, I just I'm not going to bet this game I'm going to be honest with you but I, if I did I just could not bet with Sabathia right now yeah, I mean, this has been, unfortunately, a, a recurring trend with Sabathia for a long time now. Like, 2011, he had a three ERA. I mean, that was one of his best years. He went 19-8. and eight. He's been so downhill since then. In 12, he had a 3-3-8, 13, a 4-7-8. Last year, he had a 5-2-8 ERA. And he, only pit, he only started eight games, remember? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, now he's one in five with a 5.2 VRA. He got smoke showed by the Rays. Um, I mean, you know, whatever, four runs, but gave up two home runs. Um, yeah, I, I'm not gonna touch this game uh, because Duffy. I mean, it's not like you know, <laughs> it's not like he's been Listen, anything great. Exactly, exactly. That's why, guys. Honestly, don't even go near this game. This, I mean, the only thing that be over might might be something that you would consider because both of these pitchers have been struggling. But again, I could not put my money on the Yanks today with Sabathia. I mean, he is just, it's just brutal to watch him. Oh. Um, and I, I mean, I, don't, don't touch it unless you're going to look at the over, which, I mean, that could happen. I just, I, I can't do it. I can't. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
All right, guys. I, I think I, I agree with that. I think I'm going to fall back from that because you know what? At some point, I think the Stanks are going to get them. I just don't know when. <laughs> yeah, this so. game right. like 17 to 10. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> One way or the other. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Uh, hey, this track is uh, dedicated to my man, Sir Mata. <laughs> What's up, buddy? I told you I'd play you a little DJ Snake here, brother. All right, so um, <laughs> going to the next one here. Queen, we've been having so much fun this week. It's been, it's been just an amazing week for, for the biggest show in the world, man. It's been absolutely incredible. The numbers are growing. The nation is growing. We're making money. It's been it's just been sick. Um, that's what it's about, having that, fun and making money. That's it. That's it, baby. All right, so uh, next one we got on the ticket, we got the Toronto Blue Jays coming into the Houston Astros. Uh, Houston minus 125 with an under over of 8.5. What you got there, Dan? Yeah, we got Estrado for Toronto, one and two with a three five four. Feldman two and four with a five two three going for the Astros. I have a strong lean on the Astros again here, but uh, Feldman hasn't been good. The Astros' offense has been great, uh, and the Blue Jays just give up so many runs. I, I this is another one where I really lean the over, but I, I'm not even going to touch it. Yeah, I mean, a bit, the pitching there has been brutal, but the bat, oh, the bats God. have been insane. <laughs> yeah, it's just that whole AL East, you know, that whole AL East. I mean, it's all about the bats. It is, man. I, I, do, do you, it's like the totals always going over in the AL East. It's nuts. Uh, I know. I, I'd like to get a stat on that, like a trend or something like that, guys. AL East matchups. Uh, how are these teams doing as far as under overs are concerned? Uh, Queen, any leans there? See, I'm actually opposite of Dan. I love the Astros in general, okay? But I also like Toronto at times. I mean, I think I, I think both of these teams, it's crazy. Once they start connecting, both of them can score a ton of runs. And when I'm looking at the pitching matchup, it's not that strong. It's not that strong. So what you're going to see in this game is a lot of runs being scored. I don't know which way. I mean, I, I kind of feel like Toronto could take this game from Houston today, but that would not be the play that I would make. I would probably look at the over in this game because I, Dan, I, I Toronto, they can score. They, oh, they no, I know. Some, I, I lean the over. I just, eight and a half, the thing is, is I just, I don't know. Uh, there's something about it. They, there's been a lot of runs scored between these two teams. Um, uh, they're due for for. I think both teams are due to kind of have one game where they kind of don't put up some numbers. And I, I mean, that's just more right. I lean the over. I mean, if it was, if I could get it down to eight even, maybe that's what I do. I buy it down to eight even and take it. Got it. I yeah. mean, I'm with you. I'm with you when you say um, the both due to like kind of slow up on on the runs, but I think that they're both due to slow up on the runs when they have a different pitching matchup. Yeah, you know, I, I, um, I tend to agree. Yeah, I got you. You know, I just I don't think today's the day where they slow up on the runs. To be oh, honest I with you, I think that I think if you can get it down to eight, um, it. I mean, it could be like a, a five four game. It it could be more than that, but they. Both teams are very capable offensively of putting up tons of runs. I I, I concur with you, Queen. I, I I'm looking at this now. I'm seeing uh, you know the the ERAs for these respective pitchers and uh, what the bats are doing here. And uh, yep. this game could be a, a bloodbath as far as the pitchers are concerned. Uh, Dan, what do you got for time? We're like two, one minute of eleven already. Yeah, I was actually going to say, let me give out that monster three team parlay. Let's get into that. And unfortunately, guys, I got to run. Um, obviously, working as many hours as I do, I still got to make time for my my wife and my, my kids so all right queen you'll um, queen you could stay on with me right break down the final five yes, games sir. all right awesome sure. awesome because your your information's uh, been good i gotta give it to you man oh good. yeah all I right uh it. dan what you got all right so here's the monster of the day and <laughs> uh we are gonna go king felix i knew it <laughs> chavez for oakland and granky yep. for the dodgers we are going to go, we're just going to unload on this. Uh, we're going to go 10 units. Uh, <laughs> on a three-team parlay at plus 249. Wow. Look. King Felix, Granky, and who else? 
And Chavez, Chavez for Oakland. Look, Chavez has been a hard luck loser. He's one and three, but with a two, five, six. But they're at home. The White Sox have Danks on the mound, who's one and three with a five, one, two. Oakland's going to roll him. They're they're going to murder him. Okay. I now you're not going to have a chance to hedge. You. <laughs> you're not going to have a chance to hedge here, guys. These games all all first pitch nine oh five and nine ten. Felix Hernandez six and zero with a one eight five. Again at home against Porcello three and two with a four five. I think Seattle mangles the Red Sox. And then I mean Granky at home. De La Rosa on the mound for Colorado. This is I mean the Dodgers just. I, I just, this is, I was been looking at this for 12 hours, guys. <laughs> just decide how much money I'm going to put on it. And like I said, I'm unloading. I'm unloading it. I love you put more in from, you, you put more homework in and, than most Twitter cappers out there. <laughs> 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 I, I love it. I mean, listen. Like I'm saying, man, know, if I'm going to give it out, I'm going to give it out. But this is, look, I love the Diamondbacks are my single team play of the day. I love the Diamondbacks. Um, but this is, I've been looking at this three teamer, man, and call me crazy if you want, but I'm unloading on this. Wow. I'm not telling you to go, you know, as crazy as I am. This is, you know, I take no responsibility or liability, but I, I love this play. All right. I mean, it plays plus money. So, I mean, you know, if you, if you get big plus money. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Queen, what do you think about that parlay? I, I mean, I knew he was going to say that. I knew he was going <laughs> to pick those teams because... I couldn't agree with you more, Dan, with Chavez. I could not agree with you more. I think uh, Oakland is strong. Um, King Felix, hello, every queen needs a king. So I'm a huge, <laughs> huge fan. We got to get you of the out of king. Seattle into the king's court. Exactly, exactly. Um, the Dodgers, I like to play. I mean, I probably not. I probably do more of like a two team parlay or. Or throw in something else that I have, like on my select pay plays with my private uh, clients. You know, give them a a, a three team parlay with a little more value. But I totally see where you're coming from. I mean, this yeah. is a strong, strong play, strong. The other thing that Love you them. can also do is, and this is a little, uh, obviously, a little more risk because it's a road game. But if you want to, Scherzer's been really, really good lately. And Casher has been so hard luck. I mean, he's one and six with a three oh seven, and the Nasties have been playing good baseball. If you throw that in as a four teamer, or if you drop out the Dodgers because the Dodgers are minus two sixty, if you drop the Dodgers right. out and add the Nationals to that, that's also a really, really favorable three team parlay. I mean, I was going to say I would drop out the Dodgers and add the Diamondbacks to that and get some really good value there. Love yeah, the D-backs. Yeah, I um. The Diamondbacks, I, I I love that game. I love that game, but I'm already crazy invested in it, so I just don't want to throw. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just uh, don't want to throw it together. But no, I hear you. I I think yeah, the Diamondbacks add some really good value. Trying to see what happens adding the Nationals to that go plus three thirty six if you go Nationals, um, the King and Oakland. Yep. All right. All yep. right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, Dan. So uh, thanks very much, dude. I'll see you back same time, same place tomorrow, Dan. Yes, sir. All right, man. Guys, we'll be on at 10 o'clock tomorrow with the Evil Genius back in action. And, Queen, you're going to stay on with me. Yes, I am. All, all right, right all right. You guys rip it up, guys. All right. Sounds good, man. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, guys. Peace. All right, honey. So we got we got one more game we got to go over here. And, uh, you know, my, my play of the day right now is the Arizona Diamondbacks. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm gotcha. at. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, let me just switch the music up and uh, just see what what else you got as far as this last game is concerned. Uh, the last game I got on a ticket is because uh, Dan basically broke down the um, the three games right there in the last strip there. Um, we've got the uh, Washington Nasties coming into the San Diego Padres. And uh, yep. Washington is minus 145 with an under over of six and a half. Washington has Max Scherzer on the mound. Uh, San Diego has Andrew Kashner. Um, taking a look at some trends here, Queen. Um, Washington's been playing amazing ball, huh? They have. They have. Um, they're, I, this is a tough matchup for me. Even though I do think that Scherzer is a better pitcher here. Um, all of the Padres. 
The Padres, you never know what's going to happen with the Padres. I know, I know, I know. Um, and so for me, it's just not somewhere I want to put my money. Uh, there, it's, I don't know what to say. I mean, it's just not a game. It's, you're saying the Washington Nationals, and I'm just saying that it's just nasty to me. I know. Um, it does It does seem like the nasties are in a nasty game here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, and like I said, like the Padres, we just don't know with them. I mean, they could come out and spank them. So, yeah, the Nationals have been playing well. Scherz is on the mound, but... I, I just couldn't touch this game. Yeah, I, 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 I agree. Say. I think, uh, you know, I think the, I, I almost think that the Padres are due here. Uh, the Padres right. are four and one straight up in the last five games at home, where Washington is seven and two straight up in the last nine. So, I mean, as far as the future is concerned, I am getting involved in the Nasties. I am getting involved in the St. Lucia Cardinals. Um, I am going to get involved in the Kansas City Royals. And I got to figure it out from there. There's also games that we can do, guys. Uh, there's futures where you could actually bet the actual matchup in the World Series. So um, that's something that pays crazy as well. So, Queen, that's going to do it for our baseball. I'm falling back from that, guys. Um, you know, Dan's on that big parlay. Uh, Dan's got a bunch of other plays as well. But I am on the Arizona Diamondbacks. And your free play today is the um, the Pittsburgh Pirates, right? Yeah, uh, it is. Mm-hmm. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have no NBA. Uh, what do you think of the NBA that's been uh, going on? The, uh, the Congratulations to the Atlanta Hawks playing the Cleveland Cavs in the uh, Eastern Conference Final. Exactly, exactly. That should be a very interesting matchup. Um, you know, I have my opinions about both teams, uh, especially – I just can't get over all these injuries going on with the playoffs. I mean, it's it's like insane. One's in, one's out. Um, I think the Cavs are going to take this series. Oh, I hope not. I hope not because I, I I don't want that to happen because I've told you guys before. You've heard me if you've heard me on before rant and rave about uh, LeBron, you know, leaving me in Miami stranded. <laughs> um, you know, no woman's a fan of that, but. Uh, I just, I think offensively, Cleveland's gonna. Cleveland's got their number. Um. Yeah. I mean, Atlanta has not been that good from the from the three point line recently no. from behind the arc. Um. You know, taking a look at this, I'd like to see what the series price is right now. Um. You know, because kind of, I've got a bunch of futures still going, guys. So, like I said, I'm starting off the bankroll with seven thousand, but there's. A lot of active plays out there right now that are going to probably put me, if I had to guess, you know, between eight and nine by the time the NBA playoffs are done. But uh, taking a look at this here, um, trying to find it, Queen. I can't. Did, did you see any series prices yet for this? I do not. I could probably find it in a couple minutes. All right, but... give me a, give me a minute. I'm, I'm looking it up right now and see what I got here. See if I can get this up. Uh, got my man AZ Wildcat 83 that's going to be calling in a few as well. Let's see. Scrolling down. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? Can't find it. <laughs> Can't find it. Damn. They're playing me here. Um, I, could, I know, right? Uh, I'm looking too, but I don't see it yet. No, not yet. We don't have it. Oh, here we go. Series. Cleveland minus 215. Ugh. Right. That, that's a lot of juice for it. I mean, they're not, they're not, they don't even have home court. Yeah, that's a lot yep. of juice, guys. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Queen. You know what? I think it's going to be a hard fought series. Um, I do too, but I just uh, Atlanta's initially Atlanta, Atlanta's offense. They were playing really, really strong, and I just I've watched them kind of fall back a bit. I yep. mean, they pulled out the wins. They got to where they needed to get, but I think this is the end of the road for them. I hope not. But you know what? We'll we'll see where it lands from there. But uh, I mean, they did beat a hell of a team with Washington, though. Yeah, Washington I mean, was wa- good, listen, and that was the thing. I knew Washington was going to be quite the matchup for Atlanta, but I knew that was going to be the end of the road for Washington as well. Yeah. Um, I just I don't see LeBron dropping the ball on this series at all. Yeah. I, I really think that uh, unfortunately this is this is it for Atlanta. So it's going to be listen. It's not going to be an easy series. No, no, definitely not. And uh, they got to play at Atlanta. I would imagine that the line is probably going to be somewhere around like Cleveland giving two in that first game. I would assume. 
Yeah, I don't have. Three, yeah. yeah, I don't have the lineup yet. But uh, let's go into uh, let's go in it, and then we have uh, Golden State waiting for the uh, winner of the Houston Remember? and Clippers game. Yes. And we all know who's going to win that, don't we? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. The, the dream is convinced that the Clips are, are going to get them, but I don't. I'm not so sure about that. What's your What's your thoughts? I'm, I'm I'm convinced Clippers got this. You think so, huh? Yeah, I do. I do. <sighs> it's tough. It's it's a tough tough one for me to call. I I, I don't I don't know. I think the Clippers are the better. I love the line. I love the line right now. I yeah. love that it's like minus one. Some books minus one and a half. Because I think the Clippers are going to come out and do work. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. So the next thing we got on the ticket, let's go over to the uh, to the ice real quick. So we have uh, how many games we got in the ice? Just one, right? Right. All right. So uh, we got the Ranger game. Which let's... is huge. All right. Guys, this is a huge game. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, uh, so you've been tearing it up in the hockey. And, uh, you know, are you going to give that to your members later on? Or what are you going to yes, do? Yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my pick to, to – uh, my select members later on and those are the guys who will do the private plays with me okay um because because when i talk about select plays i'm referring to big money plays so these guys are putting a lot of money on the line so i gotta really make sure that i provide you know uh winners so that's why i'm nine and two with these guys because you know they're risking a lot of money um i feel extremely confident and strong about my my hockey pick tonight. There's nothing that's going to 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 weigh me. Uh, I'm in. I know what I'm I'm playing, and and we're gonna have another winner tonight. All right, guys. So we have the uh, let's see, we have the Tampa Biscuit Lightning coming into the New York Rangers, and uh, Tampa Biscuits rocking a 50-24 record. I don't know why they they have ties here. There, there, there's no ties in, in hockey. Um, so the, the records are wrong. The records are wrong here. Uh, Tampa it's Biscuits. Point yeah, yeah. Tampa Biscuits scoring three point two goals a game, where the Rangers are three point oh seven. Uh, they're pretty even statistically, surprisingly. Um, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I got to kind of fall back and kind of watch this. The good news about my bankroll is that I have now. I've I've structured this where every team that any team that wins the Stanley Cup, I cash. Because what I did was I have the Rangers at eighteen point three five to one, and I also have Tampa Biscuit two hundred bucks pays eleven hundred. So what I did was I took the Ranger, I took the field queen. So what that means is uh, it's it's minus two fifty to for any other team but the Rangers to win. So I'm, wow. I'm yeah I'm gold I'm gold I took them on the brink of elimination at eighteen to one eighteen point three five to one so. Uh, pretty happy about that. So that's going to make up for a little bit of my uh, Washington Wizards um, future loss and my Memphis Grizzlies. So all good. You know what? Hey, you know what? It, money goes out. Money comes in somewhere else. That's all I got to say about that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So uh, go ahead. This game is an early game, guys. And honestly, if you're going to watch any game today, I would definitely turn this one on. Um, Tampa Bay, they are strong offensively. And then you've got the Rangers, who's strong defensively. So this is going to be an amazing game to watch. Yep. Um, one o'clock game. That's why I'm telling you guys, you guys got to email me now because I've got a winner on this game, and it's coming up shortly. But um, but definitely, guys, tune into this game. It's going to be worth your time. All right. Sounds good. I, I love the cliffhanger from you. That, that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that. Oh, definitely, guys. All right. I, I, all these people calling me on my cell phone while I'm on the biggest show in the world. Damn it. All okay, right. So, yeah. uh, Queen, I am going to, um, you know, just keep you on real quick. I'm going to send a message out to uh, AZ Wildcat 83 to uh, give me a call, and uh, we will go from there. So, why don't you just let everybody know once again where to find you, and, um, you know, well, um, I'll be talking to you some other time, but uh, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta run. You know, I've gotta send out my plays to my my clients. But listen, it's always a pleasure to be on the show and talking to the nation. Um, you can find me on Twitter at the Queen of Odds. You can find me on Instagram at Queen underscore of underscore Odds, and you can email me at picks at the Queen of Odds. I'm always here to give you the best sporting advice, and I will tell you, I'm the hardest working woman in the biz. 
So it's all about winning, having fun, making money, making my clients money, and um, enjoying what we do. All so right. guys, reach out to me. Let's just cash today. All right, honey. Thank you so much for calling. It's always a pleasure. And uh, as soon as you get your website up and running, we'll get you back on. Sounds like a good deal. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, you. guys. All right. All take right. care. Okay. You too. All right, guys, so that was the beautiful queen of odds calling into the show. I hope I'm not having any kind of technical difficulties here, man, because, like, my screen is, like, seems like it's frozen here for some reason. I mean, I'm trying to get, it, I mean, it's it's showing me that she's still on the line and Dr. Dan is still on the line, which is totally not the case. So we got to kind of figure out uh, getting AC Wildcat 83 on here. So uh, we'll keep it moving from there, guys. So. While I'm, while I'm on here, I just want to kind of just explain to you how I plan on doing this, all right, and how I plan on building my money. So, open parlays, uh, you guys already know that, you know, I'd like to know in, in Las Vegas where I could put those in. So, uh, I know my boy Sugar Shane Redinius is looking into it for me. So, dude, if you could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. And uh, anybody else, Tommy King, while you're out there, uh, take a look around, see if I could get open parlays anywhere. But... Like I said, man, we're going to add futures to open parlays. Um, we're going to make futures. You know, if you have a 100 to 1 shot, it could actually pay maybe like 300 to 1 if you get a two-team parlay going or a three-teamer or something like that. So that's the kind of stuff I'm going to do. And I am going to document it all. I'm going to use the hashtag Hatter. And I'm going to put it out there, man. So, hey, it's an experiment. But I'm not considering an experiment. I plan on doing it, man. I, I really, really feel confident in myself, man. I really do. So hopefully I could get my man on the line here. Guys, I'm working everything in my power to make this happen. Uh, let's see if I could get my man AZ Wildcat 83 on right now. Let's see. Sorry about that, man. That's why we got music. So we can uh, break up the uh, the silence there. Uh, let's see. Are you calling now? <laughs> I'm just gonna read it right out, guys. Because you know what, you guys are you guys are the nation. I know you ain't uh, ain't mad at me for uh, doing, working through my technical difficulties here, or whatever. So I'm gonna do the best I can. If I can't get him on, I'll be. I guess we're gonna have to just tweet his stuff out there, man. It'd be uh, pretty sad if I can't get him on, but work it through it. And uh, let's see. Uh, what do I want to hear? How about a little Neptunes? How about that? All right. Guys, as far as the hockey is concerned, man, I don't have a side here to lean. I really don't know what's going on with the uh, Tampa Biscuit Lightning. I mean, I watched them a little bit. <sighs> That's a tough, tough, tough call there. Let's see. Any thoughts from the nation, guys? Let me know on Twitter, and we will go from there. But um, going to – and just so you know, guys, next Thursday – we got my man Vince Parker coming on with Tony Two Picks. I don't know if Tony's going to be calling, but it's going to be um, Vince Parker for sure. And he's been ripping it up with the baseball, so looking forward to it. And I got some other guests that we're talking to. I uh, got my man Jay Cast out there that's doing the soccer. Um, he's going to be coming on at some point. I know he gave out some stuff yesterday. Uh, let's see. Yeah, AZ, dude. Ah, he said it's ringing, bro. I don't know, man. I am just having a very difficult time with this... Um, with this Skype here, dude. I I don't know, guys. You know what? I apologize about this. We're live. Nothing I can do about it. I can't edit the show. We're here. And uh, AZ Wildcat, dude, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to get you on, dude. If I, if I restart the whole thing, I think I'm going to have an issue. So, damn. What a bummer, man. You know what? I got to get a new computer, guys. Hey, I'm going to put out the money and get a new computer. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. So my man, Easy Wildcat 83 dude, listen, you and Rick Lopez, send me your horse plays, and I will tweet them out to the entire nation. I'll post it on our Instagram. I'll do the whole package, all right? So this way, all of the, uh, the entire nation will get it. We have, uh, let's see, if I had to guess, we probably have between everything about 25,000 people we can get it out to. So uh, we'll go from there and put it out there for the nation. All right, guys? So... That's pretty much it. That's going to do it for me here. I am the Mad Hatter. This is Sports Betters TV. SportsBettersTV.com. Sorry about that again. Oh, man. Pisses me off. But you know what? What am I going to do? It is what it is. So, 
SportsBettersTV.com, guys. The Mad Hatter. I am taking the Arizona Diamondbacks today. That is my play of the day in the baseball. There is no hoop today until tomorrow. You know the Dream's probably going to call in and do a little something tomorrow. Um, I don't know for sure, but... You know he's wanting to go ham on the Clippers, so uh, we'll have the conversation with him. Dr. Dan comes on back tomorrow at 10 a.m., and we will go from there, guys. So we want you to go out there. We want you to go easy. We want you to bet your own plays because whether I win or whether I lose, I am not telling you to take my stuff. I'm just telling, sharing you, sharing with you what I'm doing, and you guys decide what the hell you want to do, and I hope you all cash Do your homework, bet your own plays, and get that money. Take care.